All right, we got a lot done while I was gone. Got started on some of the wiring, but I got all the plumbing done. Take y'all in for a closer look, cause ain't nothing bootlegged. Got my brake pressure switch right there under the transmission where it goes so I can run my wire to that. I uh, got my oil bag in, got it plumbed. Cleaned my pedal up, it looks good. Got all my plumbing done. I made sure I had plenty of room in between. I didn't have room to go down. I could, but it would just be too close. Uh, that's kind of touching the head right there. I might put a little bit of, I might put some uh, heat wrap around that. I wouldn't want that head to, to start melting into that uh, into that hose. I got my fuel line ran. I got me a new filter. It'll come up and kind of hide a little bit like that and go right into my oil tank, the gas tank oh, right here. Got some uh, heat wrap on it. Got the coil ran, voltage regulator line ran. Uh, I've got my wiring and stuff to start wiring it. I, I found me a an old uh, negative, small one that'll work because I got to have a small battery in here. These are made for pretty small batteries. Wire from my brake light because my brake light ain't as long as I need it to be. Uh, man, this thing's ready to go. I got a little bit more wiring to do. And then as soon as I get a seat, sissy bar and paint, boom, we're ready to go to go to go to kicking on this dude. And theoretically, I could fill it with oil, throw a little fuel in the bowl, 12 volts to the coil, and kick it now. But I'm gonna be patient. Now, what I do want to show y'all, and Saddle Tramp said the same thing. He's human. And he will show y'all when he makes mistakes, and I know I've shown y'all that. Shout out to Terry Massey, or Rusty Shovel. I'd have to look back in my comments. If y'all remember, when I was trying to get this ratchet lid off the other day, I mentioned there should be two long screws. And I didn't find any long screws. I, and, and, and it threw me off, because I was remembering this to be the long screw and this to be the long screw. But no, I was missing the two that go right behind the ratchet lid. And somebody pointed that out in my comments and I had totally forgot about it. But looking at this transmission, guys, you can clearly see right there. Look, there's still assembly lube. See that red? That's assembly lube. Like somebody, look at those gears. They're fresh. This hardware ain't new. The shifter piles ain't new, but those gears are. Somebody's gone through here, and I've got it in neutral. Right there is neutral. See that shifter pile right in the middle of first and second? Right there. There's your neutral. See my shaft ain't spinning? Can't do it with, with one hand, but I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can make this work. Bring y'all over there. Who? Oh. Damn it. Anyway. You move the shifter paw over, she shifts right into first gear. From first, right to second gear, out of second gear, 
in the third gear, out of third, right into fourth. So I'm pretty content with that. There's second. That's first gear. But that cam in the lid right there, it'll keep these shifter piles where they go. Second. Back to there. Third. Fourth gear. And technically there's a neutral in between each gear. So, man, that's really good news. I'm not sure. It, it may be in this cam. That cam doesn't look brand new. But it's been apart. And it may be in the ratchet. <clears throat> We'll find out, but just a real quick video. I wanted to show y'all that. I probably won't post this video <clears throat> until Wednesday night. And I won't post it then if I... Uh, <coughs> I get up if I get my stuff back That's neutral right there with the ratchet bit on it. Uh, all right, let's put this thing back together. See if we can make it work on the table. Because on the transmission that I pulled out of the FLH, I'm a, uh, on that transmission I pulled out of the FLH, I ordered a super nut and a, a, a main shaft seal because it's leaking. Not bad, um, but it's leaking. Uh, so I want to replace that and put a super nut on it. A new seal and put a super nut on it. And uh, But I'll need a transmission to put back in that FLH. And I want to show y'all the bottom of this transmission, because I know early model pan heads, I know the early model pan heads, some of them had this, and y'all tell me if I'm correct. How they've got these uh, steps on them right here, on the cases. Now you can mill those off, uh, but it raises the transmission up, and, uh, I don't see any identifying numbers like Harley used. And I'm pretty sure this is a replica case, but would it be for a, an earlier model pan head? Anybody in the comments know the answers to that, let me know. Man, I feel like an idiot for missing those two, uh, missing those two bolts, man. But I said it in the video, man, there should have been two long ones. 
But I was remembering it being that one, and that one being a long one. I wasn't even looking down this ratchet hole. Ah! Uh, I know, I know, I see it, guys. You ain't got to scream at the TV. I see it. Boy, that bum, he couldn't come over and film for me. He had to go to Texas. Oh. Shout out to f -Palm over in Tejas. And for those of you that don't know why I'm pulling this back off, you forgot to put the damn gasket back in it. But... As soon as I opened it up and saw that assembly lube, I'm assuming the camera's picking it up. I felt better about it. Then I seen how crisp these gears look, man. And they're just crisp as they can be. surface is back up real good. Uh, yeah. That's a comedic gasket. It's just like brand new. There's a comedic gasket right there. I don't think this transmission's ever been ran. Uh, uh, to be honest with you. Let's see. Which way are we going? We gotta go this way. There we go. We'll see how she does once I get this lid locked back down on it. Now this lid, I do believe it to be a Harley Davidson ratchet top lid. But I don't think the case is. It, it would have identifying numbers on it. figure it out and if that's the case if this is a really good transmission I got a smoking deal on it I get $500 for this transmission hell I've seen transmissions that work but needed to be rebuilt so for $1,500 Of course, I ain't got nothing to drink out of here. I'm about ready to call it a night.
just snugging these down right now. I think I lost. No, well, that'll work. <sighs> Shit. I was gonna say, I think I lost <sighs> my handle, but it's over there. I just put that on there to help me shift it. Damn, there's neutral. Okay. Uh. Yeah, something's not right in that cam or here. Need some adjustment or something in that cam right there. The transmission, I'm gonna give it a good bill of health. I'm gonna call that a win. <sighs> now, is it fixed? I don't know. I don't think so. Kind of hard to say. Not even sure I'll post this video or not. Depends on depends on what I get to pick up. If I get to pick anything up tomorrow, but the main th excuse me, the main thing is the progress on this thing, man. Brake lines done and bled. Oil lines are ran, fuel lines ran, everything's put back together. I'm just waiting to put parts and pieces back on the bike, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hippie's Chopper Corner, home of the sketchy chopper.